Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on, on Elms Creek with Grover Games. So we are still in the month of June and I decided this month that we're going to pick up a few contracts. We got all our harvesting done and all our baling done. So, And there's quite a few contracts out there for fertilizing and spraying. So what I think we're going to do is we'll pick up a few, we'll pick up the fertilizing contracts for sure. I don't even know how much fertilizer we have. And we'll we'll pick up a few spraying contracts here and there. 54 and 73. Where are they at? Oh, okay. Well, 54 is actually right within our backyard, so we'll grab that one for sure. And what we'll do is we'll we'll send the 4020 out with the not 4020, 4840. Starting to get my playthroughs mixed up with all these John Deere's tractors I got on both of them. We're going to send the 4840 out with the sprayer. Oop. Maybe. If I don't accidentally crash into the barn first. Yeah, so let's... It's still good to go for spraying. And let's take the loader off if we haven't already. Off the class. Since we're gonna have a little bit more going on with the fertilizing stuff, we're gonna we're gonna hook the class up to the spreader. We actually might end up knocking out quite a few contracts this episode just to get get more funding coming in. Like I said, I think what I would like to do, I think we might end up buying field forty or fifty two next, and then after that, I think we'll invest into another sheep barn, depending on how how much uh. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Actually, you know what? We'll shut that off. We'll we'll get we'll get the 4840 ran out to the field 54 here first, because I'm knowing our luck, the AI won't be able to find its way to it. So we'll just we'll just send it out there, and then we'll get it unfolded, and we'll get we'll get Tuttle going right away, spraying for us. But I think I think the smart go smart thing to do is we'll buy probably purchase another field either 52 or 40 just so we have all that grass there and then I think we're gonna we're gonna end up investing into another sheep barn right away just so we can so we can keep our what's the word I'm struggling for words right now keep our spinnery going at full production and I th I was thinking about if we get enough money I never looked, just out of curiosity here. I was thinking we could maybe buy our own planner. And we can lease, lease one of these harvesters for cotton and plant quite a few fields of cotton. And go, and go from there and hopefully get some, get some more stuff feeding into our spinnery because we're, we're still sitting on a good amount of cotton, but if we could like double up on it, that'll actually help us produce quite a bit of money, I think, especially when it gets gets to the right point of selling. So we're gonna head into head into town here first. We're gonna pick up pick up a few bags of fertilizer, get this top off. At least two should be enough to get us by. Oh yeah, that'll just spread, just get us enough filled up here. And Tuttle will spray that field, and once we get that one done, we'll probably see about sending him out to another one here. And we'll get quite a bit, I'm hoping to get a good amount of money set back for us. And then one of the other things I noticed is that our field out back is actually ready to be li limed again, so we'll have to get that done at some point too. And I think I don't think I have enough lime at the farm to be able to do that field, so we'll have to get another bag of that purchased here. And then I'm not sure what's going on the next month. I I know we got to get our first round of fertilizer down again for our fields we just harvested la within the last couple episodes. Oh, excuse me. I'm str 
I'm really struggling today right now. Sorry about that. Actually, we'll, we'll head down to field 72 first. I was going to head over to 38, but 72 will be a little bit of a nicer drive, and then we can just cut straight up through, through the dirt road there uh, between 68 and 69. And we can kind of check on Tuttle, see how he's doing over there. Looks like he's handling it all right. Be the first time. Oop. You pay more attention to what I'm doing here before I go into the next lane. But no, we'll we'll be doing a few contracts here, and then we'll probably head off into the next month and see see what everyone has in store for us for work. But our custom our custom business here is. Been pretty good for us taking off. Like I, th honestly, this is with our custom work. This is literally the only way we've been able to like fund ourselves extremely well, especially in this hard economy playthrough. But I think, I think next time I start a new series like this, I think I'm just gonna put it on normal, and then I might, depending on when I decide, when I. When I get through my No Man's Land series, which I don't think will end for quite a long time, especially with the sandbox map like that. I might, if I do another survival one like that, I might actually put it on hard economy just to see how it goes. Just because I feel like with all, all the logging we've done in no Man, my No Man's Land series, we've made quite a bit of money. But it's all... It's also been one of it's also one of those maps where we gotta kinda make it our own, so I can I can understand that we we should probably leave it on normal so that way we can build up a little faster on it. But I think we'll jump into the time lapse here. We'll like I said, we'll probably get Tuttle to go to another field and spray too. And I think we'll pick up another fertilizing contract. Depends how late in the day it gets for us. So we'll see you guys at the end of it all.
All right, everyone. I think we're going to start wrapping it up here today. Um, I decided to, as you can tell, I decided to get our field lime and fertilized in between instead of going into the next month. And I decided to also get our grass cut because I guess I was thinking, you know, if we're going to start, if we're going to think about investing into some more sheep for the farm and becoming more of a sheep farmer, might as well start stockpiling up on bales just because I we do not know for sure when I buy that next piece of ground that if it's going to provide enough for us to be able to sustain our sheep. So might as well get get a little bit prepared so that way if worst case scenario we find out we need to just plant a whole a hay field and just harvest all year round basically grass to keep all our sheep fed we'll be able to prepare for that when we buy the next field but at least we will have some cushion wow i'm struggling right now some cushion with some with a few extra bales laying around so kind of sucks i thought we were going to be able to get closer to the railroad tracks with our new piece of ground for cutting grass but you know i guess i shouldn't expect too much out of it i mean it is technically Technically free grass to us, you know, but anyways, I'm going to pick up the bales in between the episodes. I'm also thinking next month we might be able to sell some eggs and make some a little bit more money too. So hopefully we can, hopefully we can do that as well here and we'll be able to get some, get some extra cash on hand and maybe I'm trying to think where I was going with that. Maybe we will be able to, oh What's the word I'm looking for? Maybe next in the next month or two we'll be able to pick up some, a few of the bigger contracts to get more of our stuff squared away here. You know, I wonder. I think I'm gonna start trying to store store our fertilizer spreader below below the barn because we haven't re really used that part of the barn yet for storage, and it's kind of kind of hard to with as big as our machinery is because we can't really fit anything in there but I wonder if our fer whoop, fertilizer spreader there will fit in Ooh, excuse me fit underneath there a little bit nicer than trying to shove a bale or something down there but whoop. uh you gotta love the invisible barriers and the weird odd physics of farming similar 22. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the episode today, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date on the latest videos. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Most of all, thanks for watching.